Yo, what's going on? It's your main man, Rick Adon. You already know what it is, man. Uh, you know, we got a, a huge game, as you can see, in week three. We got Michigan State. That's insanely huge, all right? Take a look. Um, I made a couple of changes. Big Mike is the quarterback, as you know. But uh, I told you, if you hit me, hit me up in the comment section, I would put you in the game if you told me who you wanted to be and stuff like that. So my main man, Drew Silva, asked to be wide receiver. I don't know what face you want, Drew, so let me know which page, uh, you know, the face you want is on, which row, which column. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me know, and uh, I'll make the change for you, big man. And then also we had my main man, uh, Ja'Cory Williams, hit me up. Same thing, man. Let me know what face you want uh, on which page, and I'll, I'll take care of that. But he wanted to be wide receiver, and that spot was covered. But take a look. I got my offensive lineman, and my entire defense is open. So if you want to be on the squad, let me know. And uh, shout out to the homie who told me that, uh, we do have red shirts who will join a team, but they'll be trash. All right, I appreciate that. And by the way, while we were uh, away, I had a conversation um, with the guy, the big guy, and I asked him if I could make a small change. Instead of Central Michigan, sir, can we move this school to Detroit, Michigan, where I'm from? And he said, Rich, if you'll get my team to have at least one to two more wins than we had last season, I'll do anything that you ask. Okay, so I'm promising... Uh, the guy who hired me that will do better than last year, which was what three and ten, and if we can do better than three and ten, I can keep this as Detroit, Michigan. I mean, it only feels right, okay. And I'm gonna go three minutes on this game because it's Michigan State. I mean, come on, it's a vendetta game if I've ever heard one. And we're gonna jump in. I gotta beat these guys, okay? Look at their uniforms. I have to win this game. It looks like overall they're zero and one. So let's see what happens. Detroit, Michigan. All right, shout out to Central Michigan. No disrespect. <laughs> All right, but let's see what we can do, man. That first game was a little tricky. It came down to the last play. Um, I feel like I can do better than that, but I don't know. I'll see. All right, so just for the record, in real life, Central Michigan, newly named Detroit, Michigan, should never really ever be Michigan State, okay? Like, if you don't know that, then I'm telling you. Michigan State has Central Michigan's number every day of the week. So, ooh, this lineup, this this, this setup is pretty interesting. So, uh, let's just try Big Mike out. We're trying to get Big Mike in a, in a, in a retro bowl or the retro. Retro bowl? Yeah, that's how you say it. NFL. <laughs> All right, we're trying to get him there. All right, good tackle there. I'm going to try to play this a little clean. I feel like there's not much to do, man. I mean... When you don't have a whole side of the field that can, can work for you, you realize that you're really limited. Ooh, can I get that off? All right. Yeah, that was just, that is just like, let me see. I'm going to go for it, and I know somebody's like, Rick, just, just punt it. But it's just like, I got to go for it. That's why I got to go for it. You saw that? All right. Good run from my man, J. Will. All right. Hold up. All right. So this is when re uh, Retro Bowl College or what have you, it's really fun because you don't have a, a really good team to lean on. Ooh, look at that stiff arm. Did you see that stiff arm? All right, so we don't have this crazy team to lean on. I don't have all these star players. So it really just boiled down to can you play the game? Ooh, 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 ooh. Good, good bobble right there. Can you play Retro Bowl when you have no stars? And, you know, I think the, the answer for me is yes, I can play this game even if I only have three stars on um, offense. Ooh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Good catch right there for my man, man, Silva. And I got to get these nine ranked wide receivers going, man. But the fact of the matter is, there's just no winning without using them. It sucks because, you, you know, you don't want to use nine ranked players. Traditionally, you just don't want to do that. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't do that, you limit yourself completely. So I got to get these guys involved, even though they kind of suck. Now, I'm going to say, I thought that first game was kind of like fluke a little bit. I'm like... How is these non-ranked wide receiver receivers catching so many passes? They was catching everything. I'm like, yo, that's just not natural. I've never seen that before. You see that? That's what I'm used to, right there. The ball getting knocked to the floor every single time. Good, good catch right there. I'm just surprised we still got the ball and we haven't done any. Wow, non-ranked wide receiver caught that. So I love this season because it's gonna force me to play with these non-ranked players and figure it out. Now, the homie told me that 
Uh, that was a great, great quarter for us, by the way. And we get the ball back at the half. So if we play this right, we can get this, you know, make this game a little interesting. But the homie told me that there's a such thing as red shirts walking on, and when they walk on, they trash. But let me tell you something. I'll take a trash wide receiver right now over a non-ranked wide receiver right now. So hopefully we get a random walk on. All right, so Michigan State is not letting us down or letting the world down, I guess, because everyone is expecting them to beat a team that went 3-10 and 10 last season. Nobody expects Central Michigan, newly named Detroit, Michigan, to really do much in this game. So we're playing with house money. Good tackle right there. And we got two minutes to score. I think that's a great amount of time. Ooh, non-ranked wide receiver right there. So as you can see, I'm going to get my non-ranked wide receivers involved, despite them being non-ranked. I'm not going to just say, okay, he can't do this, he can't do that. No, I'm going to get them involved and see what I can do with them. Ooh, this is, this is a tough play right here. This, this should be an interception. Um, if I was like a noob or something, I would try to just force it. But, it, ooh, good tackle right there. Uh, but I decided to run with Big Mike. That's probably going to be another maneuver or strategy that I use. Beautiful run right there off the side. So this game is, is keeping me honest. I can't just hurl the ball down the field. I got to really think and, you know, in, incorporate strategy. Oh, my gosh, he's so wide open. And I'm so glad that this game realizes that he was wide open and did not make him drop that pass. So the key to getting the ball to non-ranked wide receivers is throwing it high. The problem is when you throw it high, a lot of times that, you know, leaves the ball exposed to be picked off. So I don't like to throw it high. Oh, that was a bad pass. Oh, that ball went way too far left. So, yeah, you know, this is about what I expected. That ball went so far left. I didn't even, I'm like, yo, what happened? All right, so we should um, go into the second half down 14. I'm not sure I can score quickly with the squad, man. I will tell you this. I'm going to go down fighting. I think I've been playing it real, real safe. And since we're down so bad, I think it's just time to just, just let, the, you know, let the bulls out. The problem is, man, it's just like, ah. Okay, so now I'm learning the tendencies of my wide receiver. I mean, I'm sorry, my quarterback. Doesn't have an accurate hand. Not accurate whatsoever, all right? So just learn that. All right, should I try this? All right, I'm being real risky right here. Good catch right there. Beautiful catch right there. I thought that ball would probably sail left, but it got, it got there. All right, y'all, it's not looking, not, not looking good, uh, mainly because I just don't have many options. That second wide receiver is so necessary. And it makes me want to go back to, um, you know, the draft and just take two wide receivers no matter what. Because if I have two wide receivers, I'm good. And I'll, I'll even go as far as to say, give me a wide receiver and a tight end. But having one wide receiver, it just limits my, my options. Now, maybe the answer is getting my quarterback and um, I'm running back more involved. So let's try that, let's try that out. Let's try to get the running back and quarterback more involved and let's see if we get something to go our way. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. I'm about to make Big Mike just like a problem. I'm just about to just go off with Big Mike. I feel like he's, he's fast enough to be a problem. Let me see. See, look, look at this lineup, bro. Like, there's nothing. And I do mean, catch that for me. Oh, my gosh. It's like nothing open. And not having that second wide receiver, it just puts you in a box. All right, so this will be a loss, man. Um, oh, man, this is, this, is a, this is a tough one for me. It's a tough loss. And I'm going to tell you why, because I don't have any answer for it. For, I need to walk on badly, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> I need that second wide receiver because otherwise it's just no, it's not really much there. So here, since we already lost this game, let's try it. Let's try to figure out what we're doing wrong. So this, this, this time I'm going to run the ball a lot. Let's see if maybe I'm slacking by not getting Jay Will involved. 
because maybe Jay Will is the answer to my problems. And, you know, a lot of times offenses abandon it, abandon the run. And because of that, they become one dimensional and they're, they're depending on one wide receiver or whatever. But if maybe if I get Jay Will and also get the running with Big Mike, that will absolutely change our issue, our problem. And as you can see, our wide receiver is not really good. So, you know, you got one wide receiver and he, that one wide receiver can't can catch. You know, you throw the ball to him 10 times, he'll catch, you know, four of them. That's not the best odds. All right, so we're going to try to get Big Mike and, uh, you know, our uh, wide receiver more involved. And what's going to happen is we're going to eat a lot of clock. And as you can see also, Jay Will, he, he seems to frequently take the first hit, which is really good. I was going to run and kind of got tied up there. Hold up. All right, good. So we're at least, you know, keeping the ball and moving the ball as we run it. So maybe, maybe that's the answer. I don't know what happened there. I was actually trying to throw the ball to the, to the right side and kind of just got caught up with something random. I don't like this strategy, though, because it's really getting my quarterback hit a lot. I could be diving, but I'm, like, so desperate for yards. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Everybody, it's official. I'm sleeping on this running back. This running back is, is actually a problem. He's actually a problem, ladies and gentlemen, and I've been sleeping on him. He, he seems to break the first and or second uh, tackle pretty consistently. Ooh. All right, and another thing I'm noticing, when I run the ball, it throws the defense off, and they seem to give me, like, this cushion for my wide receiver, which I have to give credit to the developers. They say, like, if you just keep throwing the ball, then obviously the uh, defense is going to push back because they're, they're not worried about the run. Look at that. Every single time he runs the ball, he gets a stiff arm. So the, the, the game is telling me that my running back is actually pretty strong, and it's up for me or up to me to realize that. So in game three... The changes you will see is I'm going to go for a slower. What the heck was that? I'm going to go for a slower offense incorporating my runner way more because he hasn't fumbled the ball and he seems to be very shorthanded. He's a great secondary option. Um, let's see what he do here. Oh, yeah, I like this running back. OK, so we made a big mistake this game, and that is not feeding the running back whatsoever. That, that was a huge mistake. This guy is actually a star and starting thir uh, game three i'm going to get this running back some touches i made a huge 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 mis miscalculation here it's my fault i take 100 percent of the blame i'm gonna go for the onside kick all right and our defense was not able to get a single stop and i'm not surprised man michigan state is a powerhouse and you're talking about central michigan detroit michigan now they just don't have, you know, the hardware to compete. But, you know, one thing I will say that came from this game is a new strategy. And that is to ensure that we get um, the running back way more touches. And you know what? I would even argue that the run game is, a, is our strongest weapon. When you look at the quarterback and the running back tandem, look at that. You see that? Okay, so we got a good running back, everybody. And I think, Mafia family, what I've been doing was I've been sleeping on the run because I'm so used to relying on the pass. But if I can drop back and get a pass, I'll take it. But the thing about it is if I drop back, or I should say if I see the formation will probably get ruined, I need to make an a, 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 a executive decision. It's good, good run by Silva. I make an executive decision. Look at that. When you throw the ball, when you throw the ball. Oh, no. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to run the ball real quick. Hold up. Oh, my gosh, bro. Who is this running back? Yo, I got to run the ball next game. Game three is going to be run focused, okay? Just, just giving you a, a, a spoiler alert. But, you know, it doesn't surprise me. I felt like this was my, what, my second game. I'm still learning my team. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everything it is to know about this team yet. Man, give me something down the field, man. What's up with these ticky tack? Like, give me something down the field. Like, y'all know I need to score. Bro, I hate, I'm starting to, that happened, that's happening way too often now. All right, should I just go ahead and, I'm gonna just buy wild gracefully, bro. This game was a very, very bad game for me. Shout out to Michigan State. Michigan State definitely put the whips on us. You know, um, not the most surprised, uh, I hate it, man. We are we're ranked 52. Um, 
And yeah, man, it's, that, that was a terrible game. I mean, at least it was true to form. I think if you look at Central Michigan versus Michigan State, you're going to see that exact thing happen. Uh, they won't have as many star players. They'll have to rely on a couple players. Um, so that's not necessarily anything special. I'm going to go two minutes for week four because I don't, I don't know who this team is. So I'm not expecting this to be any kind of vendetta game. But, man, that, that was a terrible loss for us. And we have to make some adjustments. I do want to take a look at this running back because this guy's good. And it, it, and now I can see why. Look, he uh, his strength is so far up there. And that's why he's so tough. And he's fast as well. And he can catch. So I, I might have my second wide receiver, but I'll have to realize that he'll be my running back. So I'm going to, you know, make some adjustments there. And I think I need to definitely take a look at my uh, my players and see what their strengths and weaknesses are. And as you can see with Drew Silva, unfortunately, this is why he's not good because he is uh, basically a three-star, very low, can't catch. So we are really playing the game without any wide receiver. And it's just, it's just tough, bro. So I expect this season to be bad. <laughs> and, you know, unlike Retro Bowl, it's like something about this drafting process is very, very wonky to me. You know, I, I don't I don't really uh, like it too much. Um, I just don't like it. You know, I don't I feel like I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this team for the entire season. And there's no way to improve outside of nothing. You know, um, perhaps what I should have done is, you know, basically. And, and that's the other thing. With Retro Bowl, if I were to give up this guy, I would get a pick back. Even though it's a third-round pick or a second, it could be a, a second-round pick or whatever, I get a pick. But in this game, if you give up your player, you get $3,000. And $3,000 is not enough to get a player. So you're really stuck with these guys. And I, I guess that's what colleges feel like when they're, you know, with these guys. They're stuck. You can't bring anybody in. What the game really needs is a way for you to go out and recruit um, or, or do something that can bring in players. But there's nothing you can do. So to me, that is the one flaw in this game. You see how you can hire staff, you know, if you have coins, which I don't. <laughs> but you can, you can, you can do it. Even even five coach coins can get this guy on the team. So what what they need is an option to go out and you know bring players in, even if it requires five to ten coach coins. But right now there's no option, and you have to go through the entire season, which locks your team into this 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 bad team. And, and with this particular process, you really won't get a good team until like year three. So it's like it sucks. But you know what? I, I'm going to make a concession. I'm going to say right here for the record, this is our star player. Ja'Cory Williams will be the running back who I'm going to put the entire game. The whole, I, you know, it's typically my, my quarterback. But it's going to be and if you, even if you look at my quarterback, he's a two and a half star, not even a three star. So Ja'Cory Williams will be the guy for this team. And I just discovered it last game. All right, so Mafia family, throw a like on the video. We know what we have to do, okay? We have to go in and we have to run the ball. We're going to be that team. And we have to make sure that Big Mike is very elusive. Um, this wide receiver we have, he is not the best, okay? Silva is not the best, but we, he, he, we've seen him catch multiple passes. So uh, we can still do work with, with Silva, but we, we know who the guy is. It's going to be Ja'Cory Williams. So don't. Don't don't sleep on this just yet. Let's see what game three looks like. And now it makes me want to watch game one again. Like, how did we win this game? But you see, we only scored 16 points. So it's like we didn't really blow the team out. We barely scratched it. We just barely won. So these wins, when we get them, will not be these astronomical wins. They'll be these very, very tight window wins. So stay tuned. We're going to go back and we're going to get right at it, man. We're going to go against this team right here. I'm not sure who they are exactly. What's this? I'm not disciplining my players, man. I, I need players. I can't have players mad at me and trying to leave. All right. All right. We go against this team right here. Monk, Munce, Muncie. Okay. They're one-on-one -on -one just like us. We got to go and do some work, man, especially with these unis on. Mafia family, hit that like button. I'll be right back. 